Hey, welcome to Graphic Policy Television, GPTV. It's Tuesday, which means new comics are hitting bookstores all across the world. Well, basically, physically, not digitally. It's already been released digitally. So these books have been out for, you know, a few weeks, depending on the publisher. And Marvel's hooked us up with one of the releases. This is New Mutants by Zeb Wells, The Complete Collection. Um, the Complete Collection isn't so complete. It's $40 for everything, and you do get a lot. So I'm um, at first, like... Forget the complete, incomplete, we're going to talk about that in a second. You get a, do get a lot here. So you get New Mutants, the 2009 series, number 1 through 11, and 15 through 21. Uh, and then Marvel Spotlight, New Mutants, and some material from Ex Necrotia, uh, number 1. So it's written by Zeb Wells. Kieran Gillen actually did New Mutants, number 11. And then Dio Neve, Zachary Baldis, Paul Davidson, Nico Henriken, Leonard Kirk, and Andrew Curry. There's, just, there's a lot of people here. Uh, Cam Smith, Ed Tadeo, Norman Lee, Craig Young, John Rausch, Abram Roberson, uh, Paul Davison, Chris Sotomayor, Nico Henriken, Zachary Baldis, Jim Campbell, Dio Neves, I think we already mentioned, Kevin Sharp, Ed Tadeo, Jay Lastein, uh, David Lopez, Alvaro Lopez, Paul Davidson, Soda Color, Leonard Kirk, Andrew Curry, Guru EFX, um, art cover by Adam Kubrick, Justin Ponser, Jason Key, Clayton Crane, Terry Dotson, David, uh, Dave Wilkins, Bob McLeod, and Avalon's Ian Hainan. Letters, VCs Joe Caramagna and Chris Eliopoulos and Corey Petit. Um, and then assistant editors, Daniel Ketchum, Jake Thomas, Jody LeHype. And then Daniel Ketchum's associate editor, editor Nick Lowe, and Janine Schaefer. A whole lot of people working on a whole lot of comics. Uh, retails for $39.99. Now, Marvel hooked us up with this for free, uh, so, you know, like to be nice and transparent on that. So, let's see here. Um, now, I, I remember New Mutants when they first came out way back in the day. Chris Claremont's run, have a complete run of those. Uh, that series right up until the ending. Rock. Um, so, you know, always kind of had a place in my heart for New Mutants. I mean, it was a series I kind of grew up with. So, in 2009, they brought the characters back. They kind of been, you know, all over the place in the X-Universe. Um, and they came together, you know, pretty much the, the full team. And uh, for kind of an interesting new series. Um, so this is, you know, it's the thing that's always interesting, I think, going back to, to books like this and that, uh, you know, unless you were reading everything at the time, they're always kind of like a, a snapshot of what was going on. So this is pre-Second Coming. Um, you know, Hope wasn't around. The X-Men were kind of in this weird place when Marvel was kind of playing around with, are they a nation? Are they kind of a, a corporation running things? Cyclops is the head of stuff. Professor X is gone at this point. Um, and it was like that weird transition phase where things kept on changing around all the time and they were on the west coast and yeah so uh, New Mutants come together uh, I'm not gonna say why but they come together there's a whole bunch of classic characters you can kind of get a clue of everyone involved with this based off of the cover um, and it's decent so uh, you know, the the stories are entertaining, like, you can pick this up, you can read it, for the most part, and, and you know, not have to know what's going on in the X-Universe. Probably helps a little bit. Uh, most of the stories feel like they're pretty self-contained. Uh, there's some weird stuff with, like, the Necrotia crossover, and, you know, if you don't know the big picture of that, that kind of little, is a little bumpy, I think. Um, there's a couple one-shots, which are good. There's some longer arcs. You get a nice mix of stuff. You also get a lot of art styles, which is pretty good. And, you know, a lot of it at the core is really the New Mutants team, which is what it's always kind of been about, like how these folks interact with each other. And it really feels like old friends getting back together. It's fantastic because of that. Like, that part is, is awesome. Um, but here's my knock on it. Though it says the complete collection, it's missing, missing issues 12 through 14. So 12, 13, 14, those are the second coming tie-ins for New Mutants. We're not in here. Pretty sure Zeb Wells wrote those as well. So it's not really the complete collection. It's the complete collection minus the second coming issues. So uh, that's my knock on it. They could have had the three extra issues, and, and I think that would have been a lot better. Uh, and But I, at that point, I would have had no problem being like, this is the complete thing if you want everything Zeb Wells have written as far as New Mutants, this is a great way of doing it. Uh, you don't need to get anything else. Unfortunately, you still need to get something else if you want the complete collection, so go figure on that one. Uh, so complete collection, probably not the best word to use. Um, let's see here. The art is all over the place. Tons of artists, not really shocking. Um, I remember when this stuff came out uh, as single issues. 
A lot of this has to do with Ileana Rasputin and her, well, a lot of stuff going on with her in the past and kind of her place in uh, the mutant world. Um, let's see here. So art is, is kind of all over the place as well. You know, we go from that st one style to that style, which there's nothing wrong with. It's, it's totally fine to this style, which is very different. And then, I mean, there's, it's, it even changes up from there. So, um, trying to think of, you know, stuff like that. Um, there's things of them going to limbo, and there's just a lot here. Uh, there's also some cool extra stuff, like the, the extras in the book I think are, are pretty solid. Um, there are original sketches in here. There is, uh, of course, covers, like a no on that. There's a bunch of interviews with like Zeb Well, um, Zeb Wells, plus Chris Claremont. So we've got actual interviews. They can kind of dive a little bit more into the mind of some of these creators. Uh, Bob McCloud, sketchbook, checking out these characters. Uh, which, you know, stuff like that, I like. I actually really, really enjoy that uh, as far as including that in um, series. So it's also got, like, some of the kind of the top spots or top storylines for the new mutants. Um, so, yeah, like, it's good. I mean, if you really kind of want a book that covers a good chunk of this run, you know, as I said, there's, like, three issues that are missing out of this. You can't really go wrong with this. I mean, we're looking at... Like almost 20 issues for 40 bucks. It's like two bucks an issue. Uh, so price-wise, I think it's pretty solid. You, you're getting a lot of material. You got the extra stuff as far as the interviews. Price-wise, you know, if you're a fan of these characters or a fan of New Mutants, you've never read this. It's it's worth checking out. Basically, um, you know, there's probably other things I might check out first. No offense to Zeb Wells, but like if you've never read the Z uh, New Mutants, definitely go back to the original Chris Claremont run and go from there. Um, you know, this probably isn't the spot to dive into, partially because a lot of it has to do with their past and how they interact and, and some of their history. So you really kind of think you need the history a little bit to truly appreciate this run. Um, so, after that resounding review, uh, you can go get this in bookstores today, but it means it's also in comic stores already. So you go support your comic book shops first and foremost before you go and check out bookstores. So if you don't know if you have a comic shop near you, if you don't know if you have a shop, uh, if you don't know where the shop is, we've got a link beneath this video. You put in your zip code, it'll tell you if a shop's near you. If there's no shop near you, well, that's where our affiliate links come in. We've got some links beneath this video. You can go purchase through there and uh, get your copy. But first and foremost, definitely go and hit up your shop and uh, go support them because without shops, this industry just does won't survive and won't do very well. Uh, other than that, you know, I want to thank Marvel for going to up with this. And of course, thank you for watching. Now, if you're into Marvel, if you're into New Mutants, if you're into X-Men, comics in general, check us out every single day at graphicpolicy.com. Of course, we're on Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, Tumblr, all at Graphic Policy, keeping it nice and consistent. Until next time, keep reading those comics and keep it geeky. Hey, thanks for watching the previous video from Graphic Policy Television. Just by watching, you help support our site. Thank you so much. Now, if you're watching these videos, you probably care about geeky things like movies, television, comic books, toys, games, video games, you name it. You can go and subscribe right now to our YouTube channel to stay in touch and catch all the new videos, or check out our website at graphicpolicy.com. There's a nice link on this end of the video. But as always, thank you for watching. Keep on rocking and keep it geeky.